are the top five restaurants to go check out the next time that you are in Park City, Utah. Whether you're moving here, whether you're thinking about relocating here, whether you already live here or you're taking a trip here, a lot of people haven't experienced every single restaurant that Park City has to offer because on Main Street, we have over a hundred restaurants up there. And when you get out to the junction, there's also Prospector Square. There are so many restaurants and so many good hidden gems littered all over Park City. Now, if you're coming here as a tourist, my guess is that you're probably going to be hanging out on Main Street. So the majority of the restaurants that I'm talking about today are going to be located on Main Street. However, I am talking about my bonus favorite restaurant and bar, which you're gonna wanna stick around because I'm gonna tell you about it at the end of this video. These restaurants are in no particular order and I am not ranking these from best to worst. I'm simply just giving you some of the high-end restaurants that have a really spectacular atmosphere that are definite places that you want to eat at when you come into town. Or if you have friends that are coming to visit you, make sure you take them out to these restaurants for a night out on the town to experience it. The first restaurant that I'm going to be talking about is called Handle. Now this is located in the Gateway Center, kind of on the back side of Main Street. It is a really cool hip vibe. It has amazing food. It also has amazing drinks. I love this spot because it has a really modern twist. It also has a really impressive wine list and a cocktail list. The second restaurant that I'm going to be talking about is High West Distillery and Bar. Now, this is a crowd favorite in the wintertime because you're located literally right next to the town lift. So you could ski down to High West Distillery it's really fun also in the wintertime during Sundance because they have fire pits outside so you can sit around the fire. They obviously have great distilled whiskey. It has a very rustic and a very cozy atmosphere. Personally, I actually like the drinks better here than I do the food, but that is just my personal opinion. It's a really cozy place. It's definitely a must see, especially if you're just visiting here. The third restaurant that you'll definitely want to check out is River Horse on Main. Now this is a very expensive restaurant. It is delicious. However, they don't have the prices on the menus. It's definitely a little bit more expensive. It's definitely very, very fancy. And it's so funny because I used to teach dance. I taught dance in Park City for almost 15, probably 15 years, maybe a little bit more. And one of the girls that I taught dance to, her parents are actually the owner of River Horse and I have been there before. Again, it's kind of a place that you go if you wanna have like a fancy date night or if you have friends in town, It's or if you have a special occasion, it's probably not somewhere that you wanna go eat out to all the time unless you bring your banker with you. Fourth bar and restaurant that you wanna check out is the No Name Saloon. This place is hands down one of the best places for people watching. They do have great food. They have a great atmosphere. This is where a lot of the locals go to hang out and they have a fun bar-like atmosphere as well. So you can't bring kids here. This is, these are more, No Name Saloon is really a bar that has great food as well. In the winter time, this is a really fun place too. However, if you're coming from the town lift, you're gonna be walking up and down Main Street in ski boots and that is not gonna be fun to get to the No Name in ski boots. So it's definitely a place to check out in the summertime for sure. Also have a balcony so you can eat outside. We'll drink a lot here. So I've definitely seen some funny people totally intoxicated sitting outside the bar saying funny things to people and you're just like, oh man, that poor guy, like he's just drank too much today. But it's definitely a party. Um, it's, it's a place where people go to party, to hang out, to drink. Definitely got more of American cuisine. So burgers, wings, nachos probably just the best place hands down to grab a drink. In pregame or if you're going out on Main Street, if you decide we're gonna have a night out on Main Street, it's a great place to go to have a drink and then go to a different restaurant to go eat if you want to. The next restaurant is one of my personal favorites. It's been around since I've been a kid. I always remember going here every Easter to eat brunch at the eating establishment. It's located on Main Street. It's been around forever. They have a phenomenal breakfast, a great brunch. Also have amazing salads and lunches, sandwiches. It's probably one of my favorite places for breakfast. There are other restaurants that are good for breakfast, but I think of breakfast, I think of the eating establishment. Sixth restaurant, which is my bonus, bonus, bonus restaurant for you is Line Dog and Boneyard. So this is located not on Main Street. It is across from, I think the best way to describe it is it's across from the Park City Cemetery. 
This place is hands down a local favorite. Now the Boneyard is a bar, so you can't bring Kins in there. Blind Dog has some of the best sushi that I've ever had in my entire life. It is truly a really fun vibe. It has the best outdoor seating and Boneyard is where all the locals go. This is where all the locals go to have a drink. This is where all the locals go to have dinner. This is where all the locals go to eat sushi. So it's definitely a little hidden gem, a little hidden secret that a lot of people don't know about because it's not on Main Street. And it's kind of in a weird location, but it's pretty easy to get to and they do have a lot of parking. So I want to know what is your favorite Park City restaurant or is there a restaurant that is newer that you feel like I left off the list that should have been mentioned? I want you to let me know down in the comments down below where your favorite place is to eat in Park City or grab a drink. Again, this was in no particular order, so I definitely want to hear from you. My name is Nicole Battle. I'm a local real estate agent in Park City, Utah. So whether you're looking to move here, whether you already live here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about real estate in Park City or what living in Park City is like. And I think that you should go check out this video next. This is an awesome video about events that are happening in Park City, Utah and things to do in the summertime. Oh,